lot. <laughs> I like talking a lot. Anyway, yeah, that's the Asian side. I wonder what some of these huge buildings are here. Maybe it's the railway station. Like that one, for example. And that was over where the um, stadium was, the um, Fenerbahce Stadium. And look at this huge cruise ship coming in here. My mum and dad have said that I should uh, work on Holland America line. Their mate Jerry Nagel was on one of those in the summer, a cruise around the Mediterranean. Um, and look at the eye, the lucky eye, warding off evil. They're worried about the evil eye. And like the Greeks putting on their boats, the Greeks and Turks got more in common, they like to admit. We like the word Liman for harbour in both languages. This thing when the Turks came from Central Asia and reached the Mediterranean, they were obviously interacting with Turks, though with Greeks, so maybe they didn't have a word for harbour of their own. Perhaps they took it straight from Turkish. So take it straight from Greek, I mean. And I wonder who this is going to be. Maybe Fatih Sultan Mehmet, Fatih Pinin Conqueror. Look at the railway line. That's where the Orient Express would have come. Because when I came here in 2003, it was virtually disused. But there's so many cars now, people start using the railway again. And you might say, well, there are not that many cars down there, but that's because it's Sunday. Remember walking all the way around down there, that's Kennedy Jadesi, as in after John F. Kennedy, that street. There's a Baghdad Jadesi over the other side, a very fashionable shopping area. <clears throat> when I went on the cruise um, way back in May, or was it April, I went to this island here, the Maiden Lighthouse, and it's such a storied island. It's mentioned um, in uh, the texts of antiquity, Greek mythology. This one opened here in 1973, the bridge. That's um, Boazicha Bridge, is in Bosphorus Bridge. There's Fatih Sultan Mehmed Bridge further on, but it's out of sight. They're going to build a third bridge. There's a metro tunnel. Then there's going to be a tunnel bridge. They're building another, uh, what's it called? They're building another um, uh, airport on here, the European side. And look down there, those walls. Do they go back to the time of Constantine? They're incredibly ancient. And isn't it astonishing to think they've lasted something like 1,700 years? Things we build don't last kissing time, I mean, despite all the technology we have. Um, oh look, it's got lips and eyes on it. Oh, I've seen this one before, or else one very like it. Hadn't noticed that before. There was a bit of glare on the viewfinder, so I couldn't really tell what I was filming. So it's one of the busiest waterways in the world. I'm reading how the pipeline from Azerbaijan goes out at Jehan. Um, on the Mediterranean coast of Turkey rather than going on the Black Sea because they said yeah, otherwise you get this waterway which is so easily blocked up. The nearest point is apparently only 800 meters across. It's a real choke point. So, you know, whoever controlled these straits controlled access to the Black Sea could cut off Russia from much of its overseas trade. Obviously, Russia's got other coastlines and sea transport is not as important as it once was. Look, see, that looks like a bit of a 19th century folly. I wonder what this column is all about. So remember, um, as early as the age of 11, fantasizing about being the Sultan of Turkey, <coughs> having a harem, and filling it with odalisks from all corners of the world, the different colors. Yeah. Okay. You don't want me to film you? Okay, I'll switch it. I'll 